to have you on the record. Mm -hmm. Documentation, a necessary evil yep. or key uh, to success? Key to success. If you, if you don't have any documentation at the moment, I'd very much go down the what, how, why. Um, that's exactly how I started. It, it's so, you know, the, the what and the how are pretty obvious. Um, but the important thing, especially when the, you, you, something goes wrong or you could potentially break something, is the why. So why did you build what you're, what you're building? It, the, the biggest challenge with documentation is keeping it up to date. Yeah. Um, so in your internal processes, it's always worth having that activity of if you change something or if you're building something new always document it. When it comes to um, documentation unfortunately too often it's seen as something that's hard to do um, and so it's you know the budget isn't put aside for it so you know having processes having tools that can help you with that documentation you know making sure that it's part of every step of an implementation or or a, a project is, is just so critical. So you don't see it as a necessary evil, you see it more as a key to success? Definitely a key to success, absolutely. Whether I enjoy every moment of producing it <laughs> is another matter, or tr remembering everything. But no, my projects are always more successful when documentation is produced all, all throughout the process. I think the, bi the biggest barrier to documentation is often time. Right? People think, I could spend the time doing the thing rather than spending the time documenting the thing and then doing it. But ultimately, without the documentation, it's problems down the road, right? If the stuff you're doing is not well documented, then the people that did it leave, the more people come in, there's no documentation, then you end up with difficulty and, you know, start of more tech debt. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's critical, but it's seen as a, you know, maybe a necessary evil, but I, I would say it's critical. I think it's definitely a key to success. I mean, there's things that I built six months ago that if I didn't have it documented, I wouldn't know why I built them that way. Having your documentation and set up with, with a tool like Elements is absolutely um, amazing because, you know, it's not tied to some Jira ticket or some case that you have to, you know, go figure out where that is to try and find any documentation that's all right at your fingertips, which is huge. It's something we kind of stopped doing when we started to have CI, CD and DevOps creeping in. We did even less documentation. Right. Um, when I started working on Salesforce, we'd write config workbooks and we'd say this field is here for this reason. And we've moved away from that, which is dangerous because we've all gone, oh, look how quickly I can make a change. So I think it's instrumental in that is going back to a bit more formal approach because we've seen a lot of customers, um, a lot of prospects, a lot of uh, non-elements customers whose problem is they, they've inherited now this generational uh, org and they're re-implementing or they're merging or they realize you know, 15 years is probably time. And I think they, they're normally what, every seven years a software application should be rewritten or we should plan to redo it. And now it's time to do something about it but they don't understand what they've got. Yeah, so a lot of people want to jump in and implement the AI right now. They want to just throw it in, get it working and everything. And that's not what we're doing. We're doing a discovery for that. And I think what everyone does is throughout all the years is sometimes jumping in too fast to technology and you need to slow down because if you go too fast, then also you pip them, no one knows how it was built. And that making sure that you have good documentation. Now, all, throughout the years, all these companies I've worked for and seen, I think the, the, the number one thing that is lacking is good documentation. I have some customers that have done everything in PowerPoints, everything on Word docs. And how fast do those get stale? How fast do they just get out of date? And, and they're out of context. Yeah, so um, good documentation, good design practices will lead to a much healthier solution that people can build. You can't believe that your team will be there in 10 years from now, even in a year, you can't believe in that. So everyone who's rotating is taking knowledge with him or her. Um, so it's, a, it's an absolute necessity. And it, in, on the other hand side, to get answers early will help you to avoid mistakes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, th this is like like the old guys in your company who said, oh, we've tried this 20 years ago, it didn't work. Yeah. Okay, why didn't it work? Yeah, it didn't work because this and that. Okay, then we can think of, did the, the, the surroundings change here or not? No, they don't. Okay, but don't, don't do it. It's just a waste of time. We already tried it. Yeah. yeah. So, and and yeah. this is the same with documentation. Yeah. Um, if, if, you, if you have this on your hand, it's way easier to make a fast and, and reliable decision.